This is the Colorado State flag. I bought it in a gift shop in Denver a few months ago. When I was there, I saw this flag everywhere. It's on hats, t-shirts, stickers, magnets, postcards, this hammock, and my aunt even made this Colorado flag out of jean material. But in my home state of Maine, I don't see our own flag everywhere. We still have a bunch of tourist merchandise, but it typically uses the shape of the state, a lobster, or a moose, but not the flag. That's because Maine just doesn't have as good of a flag as Colorado. This is Good Flag, Bad Flag. It was put together by Ted K, editor of Raven, a journal about vexillology, the study of flags. So this guy knows what he's talking about. In the booklet, Ted K lays out the five basic principles of flag design. Keep it simple, use meaningful symbolism, use two to three basic colors, no lettering or seals, and be distinctive or be related. Good flags tend to follow these rules, like the flag of Texas, for example. It's simple, you can easily draw it. It has meaningful symbolism. The colors represent bravery, purity, and loyalty, and the lone star is meant to represent Texas. It only uses three colors, it has no lettering or seals, and it's related because it uses the red, white, and blue and a star to show Texas's relation to the US as a state. The Texas flag is a great flag. It's iconic. You see it and you think, yeah, Texas. Now look at the main flag. It's not simple. It kinda has symbolism, but it's a bit buried. It has a bunch of colors, a bunch of words, and a seal. When it comes to rule number five, technically it's related because it's a seal on a bedsheet design just like a bunch of other state flags, but it doesn't work well. You can't tell these flags apart. They all look the same, and they're all pretty bad. In fact, most of the US state flags are pretty bad. There are only a handful of good ones. So let's take a closer look at the rules of flag design and the US state flags. Number one, keep it simple. A good flag should be simple because they're usually seen from far away, flapping in the breeze, and flags need to be recognizable at a distance. Ted Kay says that a flag should be so simple that a child can draw it from memory. But another test is shrinking the flag down to a small size. Holding one of these little toothpick flags out at arm's length makes it about the same size as a flag flying far away. A flag should be recognizable from far away, so it should also be recognizable at a small size. Simple flags look good at a small size, while complex flags do not. Number two, use meaningful symbolism. The purpose of flags is to represent something. Good flags use meaningful symbolism to represent what they stand for. For example, on the Alaska flag, the blue represents the sky, the Big Dipper constellation represents a bear and strength, and the North Star represents the future of Alaska. On the New Mexico flag, the symbol in the center is related to the Pueblo, and the red and yellow colors reference Spanish conquistadors. Both flags use effective symbolism to act as a symbol of their state. Many other US state flags also have symbolism, but overly complex designs make for ineffective symbolism. If I can't tell what's going on, I have no idea what this is trying to represent. Simple and meaningful symbolism makes flags effective at what they are, clear representations of something. In this case, clear representations of states. Number three, use two to three basic colors. Ted Kay's guide recommends using two to three colors that contrast well and are from the standard color set, red, blue, green, black, yellow, and white. Flags are made out of fabric and having too many colors makes production overly complicated and expensive. Also, sticking to a few contrasting colors is just a good general design tip. Colors that don't contrast well just generally don't look good and you want your flag to look good. Good flags stick to just a few colors. More than three colors is okay, Colorado has four colors and it looks fine. Just don't go crazy like Virginia and put 18 colors on your flag. Number four, no lettering or seals. These are the big no's of flag design. Putting words on a flag is just poor design. Using words on your flag means that you haven't used effective symbolism. If you have to write Montana across the top of your flag, then the rest of your flag isn't doing a good enough job of representing the state on its own. We don't write USA across the United States flag or United Kingdom across the Union Jack because those flags do well representing their respective countries without using words, which is the whole point of a flag. The other big no is seals. Nearly half the US state flags have a seal on them, and they're all terrible. The problem is that seals are meant to be printed on paper where you can actually see them. When flags are small or far away, you can't see the seals. This website lets you upload images to simulate what they look like when waving on a flagpole. When they're flying, can you tell which of these is New Hampshire and which is Nebraska? Probably not. All of these seal on a bedsheet flags are pretty much indistinguishable from each other, which brings us to number five. 
be distinctive, or be related. Flags are usually best when either distinctive and unique, like Ohio with its weird shape, or related to other flags, like how Texas's flag uses similar colors and design to the United States flag, or how the flags of the Nordic countries all incorporate the Nordic cross. The best US state flags all stand out as unique and distinctive. The seal and a bedsheet flags aren't distinctive or related. None of them really stand out, but they don't really fit well together either. They're all a slightly different blue or an entirely different color, and they all have different sized seals, and you can't tell them apart, it just doesn't work. So those are the basic principles of flag design. Keep it simple, use meaningful symbolism, use two to three basic colors, no lettering or seals, and be distinctive or be related. Now let's take a look at all the US state flags. These are the very best. They're simple, they look good when waving, they're all distinctive, and they're just solid designs that represent their states well. These ones are okay. They have the potential for a good design in them, but they aren't quite there yet. Like Wyoming. If you erase the awkwardly placed seal, it's an amazing flag, and the people of Wyoming know it. They already sell hats that take out the seal, because the buffalo silhouette is great. And these are the bad flags. <laughs> There's no hope for these, they're just terrible designs. Now, some people have tried to redesign the flags for fun. This project, called United We Stand, aims to unify the flags by using the same color set. While I think it's a neat idea, I think they take the be related thing too far. The flags all look too similar, and the states lose their unique character. Reddit user Hello I'm Zach also tried redesigning the state flags, and I think for the most part, they're pretty solid designs. Indiana, California, Louisiana, and Nebraska stand out to me. And Imgur user Anthony Bouye has a unique take on all this. He used the sigil creator on the Game of Thrones website to create these. And while I think they look really awesome, I doubt they would be adopted in real life. In fact, I don't see the US state flags changing anytime soon. Because after all, is redesigning the state flags really the most important issue facing our nation right now? Well, no. But a good flag is powerful. Ted K said it best. Often when leaders say, we have more important things to do than worry about a city flag, my response is, if you had a great city flag, you'd have a banner for people to rally under to face those more important things. And I feel similarly for state flags. We see firsthand what it can do for tourism and state pride in the case of Colorado. So even though redesigning our state flags may not be our top priority, it's something worth thinking about. And besides, who doesn't love an awesome flag? And I think our states deserve better ones.